Today, Riley, we're going to look at something that's really interesting with a very simple object. Have you seen one of these before? Mm-hmm. What is this? A ping pong ball. A ping pong ball, right? <laughs> uh, you know, it's this thin-shelled ball that bounces really easily, right? But have you ever really thought about what a ping pong ball is made out of? Mm-mm. What does it feel like it's made out of? Plastic. It kind of feels like plastic, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But the interesting thing about a ping pong ball, it looks like plastic, it almost you know, feels like plastic, kind of sounds like it when you tap it, but a ping pong ball is actually made out of cellulose. Do you remember where we get cellulose from? Mm -hmm. Okay, it comes from actually plant fiber. It's the same type of stuff they make paper with, and that's what the ping pong ball is made from. The interesting thing about cellulose, and particularly once it's been treated to make a ping pong ball, is it's very flammable. If you'll pass me that little glass vial, let's just sit this down and put your goggles on for me there. And Riley, I just want you to take the lighter there and hold it underneath the ping pong ball. You'll have to hold it for a few seconds. But hold it until you see the ping pong ball start burning. There it goes. So, have you ever tried burning plastic before? Yep. It kind of just melts, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. De definitely doesn't do that. So, that's a pretty big fire for that little ping pong ball, and it burned up very quickly. And what you're left with, you can almost see, if you kind of touch that, it's not hot anymore, right. but you can see it just kind of falls apart. It feels like, looks like strips of like nylon or something. It kind of does, like maybe burned cloth or burned paper, and it is the same type of fiber material that would be in cloth or paper. So that's that idea of that burning ping pong ball, that cellulose combusting, burning very brightly, burning up very quickly. So pretty cool demonstration of combustion there using a simple everyday object. Well, one ping pong ball was pretty exciting, right? The fire coming out and it burned up very quickly. But, you know, I've kind of always wondered what's going to happen if we try to light more than one ping pong ball. Mm -hmm. So right now we've got 14 of them here. And they're stacked up. Now, I will tell you this. I'm going to have you light them. But, Riley, I want you to light that one in the front. And once it starts burning, we're going to take a few steps back because they could roll off once they start burning. And if they roll at us, we'll just get out of the way. All right? So let's go ahead and light that ping pong ball and see what 14 burning cellulose ping pong balls look like. All right, let's just take a step back here. Let's see if it'll burn through to the next one. We should be okay on being able to light them all. And you know, each ping pong ball has some gas in it, so as that gas is released, they're rolling around a little bit, yep. As that gas is released, as it burns through, we see it burning, but again, it burns up very quickly. We had a couple of them didn't quite go all the way, mm -hmm. but most of our ping pong balls burned up and you see that cellulose again that's left behind from the burning ping pong balls. Pretty neat stuff, huh? Mm -hmm. 